Yeah, there are a few problems. I wouldn't say there's a lot of problems. Sometimes when you do badly, it always seems like a lot more is going wrong than what really is than what really is happening. So it's failure is going to happen. It's going to happen again. So hopefully next game we bounce back and get some momentum. It's not only about uh, failures and fails. I was talking about the winning them. All right. Um, yes, that's one thing. That's one thing that's been happening within CSA. Uh, guys like Dale, Mone, um, and now a few broken fingers and wrists. Um, yeah, so it gives other players a, a chance. Uh, we've got some players who've been playing in franchise cricket for a while, uh, been doing very well. And those three names that have dropped or that have dropped out of the team, it's, they're pretty much irreplaceable at the moment. So yeah, it just gives people a chance to, and then we get to widen the pool. So other players can experience international cricket. Yes, sir. Thank you. And on the upside, many are saying that cricket South Africa finally had an opportunity early on ahead of the World Cup to have a look at fringe players. What do you think some of the new players coming in? Because many of them played alongside you a lot of, at under 19 level. What's some of the advice that you pass down? Um, yeah, I guess everything is a cliche. Um, go out, do your best play a natural game. These are things that are always said all the time. So I guess uh, you, you, you would give advice uh, at key moments. That is not really sort of cliche, but will, those key moments will arise. Um, yes, and widening the pool, yes, it's always great. Um, perhaps it was a blessing in disguise. Um, I don't know if I'm a senior. I know that uh, for the people who are coming up, who came after me, I can sort of guide them in a way. Uh, but there aren't many that have come after me, two or three. So maybe to them I can be a helping aid. Thank you. Obviously, things haven't gone, gone so well in the city so far. Uh, how do you go around turning things around? Uh, obviously, maybe a team effort or, or one or two players to really come up to top performances like you, or five at all, or Miller Hunter. Is that what you guys talk about now to you know, try to really put their hands up and match them in performance? I guess that's what you need in an ideal world, um, in an ideal game. Close to the perfect game is if a lot of people score runs and a lot of people take wickets, or you need individual brilliance. So we'll take either or. It's not something that uh, we generally talk about. Uh, we experienced enough to know that cricket is a game of up and downs. Sport is a game of up and downs where anything can happen on any particular day. So we just need to go back, see where we're going wrong, calm down, and then do our business on the field, looking to turn the momentum over. Uh, you can find it out tomorrow. <laughs> yes, Alfred. Um, Eddie, it's sometimes we forget that the other team also does it so well. And you know, how much of that is a factor here, particularly with regard to the, the risk that they have, and how much is South Africa not coming to the party? Um, yeah, we clearly haven't come to the party, as you've seen. And it's not acceptable at all. Um, India are a strong team. Uh, they've just beaten Australia, I think it was five one or five, no, can't remember, but they beat them comprehensively. They've been playing good cricket. I know they've been playing all their games at home, but they've been playing good cricket. They reached the final of the ICC Champions Trophy. So they've had a good foundation of a team for quite a while, quite some time now. It doesn't help in our setup that you know, we've been going through a few changes um, and not going through the best form 
since the ICC Champions Trophy in one-day cricket. So we're still doing a, I guess you can say, catch up. We're trying to catch up at the moment. So hopefully it comes pretty soon. Not really. I think um, different still. Pitches are quite similar, but with uh, different varieties. So South Africa will give you a variety of bounce, or maybe some swing in the air, depending on where you go. You go to Joburg, the ball starts swinging. But Pretoria, the ball can swing. Uh, Joburg will be some bounce. Cape Town will maybe offer you some nip. In India, the variety there would probably be some spin, or you'll probably see a lot of cutters being bowled. So they are quite similar with their own variety. You know, when you're losing, it's tough to find an answer. There's so many answers that you can that you can throw out. Um, at the end of the day, you need to speak the right language in your mind, be really strong mentally, and all you can do is go out and try and perfect your skill on the, on the or strive to perfect your skill on the pitch. The most important thing is for us to stay positive and not really seek too many questions, or too many answers rather. When you're winning, you don't ask yourself any, any questions. It's all great. Um, so you just have to stay positive, keep, try to change the momentum. Um, yeah, for all the best ones, we have a couple of plans. Um, obviously, that was one of them, so balls, as you could see. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, you're nice and competitive on the field. Coming off the field, it all changes. But you, you try and, and look for ways to get wickets. There's many ways that you can get them. Exactly. So that's why I said it's very important that we keep um, speaking the right language in our minds uh, in the team environment, staying nice and positive because, like I said in the beginning, uh, anything can happen in sport. And yeah, we just need to get as much momentum as we can going into the next game. We're definitely not out of it. We're definitely not.